What is up, Internet Prod here of Rod Rad Play, and from our previous episode, I've done a review for the Wonder Woman DC Bombshells from a Jada Toys with the Chevy pickup. And since we've done a DC, let's go ahead and do a DC a back to back toy review. And without further ado, I now present to you the Suicide Squad 7 inch Build a Figure by Mac Farland. And so as you can see, these figures are well built and this review is my opinion alone. Just a quick disclaimer. So let's go ahead and run through what we have here on the boxes. So we, first we have here Paul Kadot Man. Yes, Baba Yaga, one of my favorite uh, characters on this um, film. All right, so there you go. On the side of the box, you can see the name of the character, Paul Kudat Man. That's a no-brainer. All right. And there's a full art on this one. So we have the head for King Shark, as you can see. And let's go ahead and flip this one. Yeah, there you go. Let's bring that one back. And for the second box, let's go ahead and check out peacemaker John Cena's peacemaker there you go and same we have the screenshot from the film and it came along with the hands for King Shark there you go let's just go ahead and bring that one back and next we have blood sport there you go all right, so let's go ahead and flip this one on the side. There you can see. So there is Edris Elba's uh, King Shark. Uh, sorry, Bloodsport. All right. So we have the chest and the back part for King Shark. And last box that we have, of course, we got Margaret Robbie's uh, Harley Quinn excellent excellent performance on this film i couldn't um, ask for more so there you go harley quinn one of them, still my favorite um dc characters of all time and this came along with the hips and the legs for um king shark all right so let's go ahead and bring that one back so given that Suicide Squad has been out for a while, you can still catch it on HBO Max, not sponsored. And of course, to continue with our topic at hand, I now present to you the trading card that came along with this one. Okay, so we have here Edris Elba, another screenshot from the film, Polka Dot Man. And we have here John Cena, yes, John Cena's Peacemaker. Harley Quinn, of course, with her javelin. Okay, excellent for a card collector like myself. All right, okay, so to start up, we have here Harley Quinn's um, figure. It came along with the uh, javelin right and what i do like here are the set of tattoos that she have one on the chest one on the back excellent and this one is pretty much nicely painted i i shall say or i should say okay and of course the red dress and just one minor complaint is the banana boots i really don't like that Without the stand, you'll have, uh, you know, basically find it difficult to make these uh, figures uh, stand. Those are, you know, um, you know well-designed, looks good, but uh, functional, not really. Yeah. So hopefully they could, you know, fix that one for the, you know, future uh, figures but as you can see this one looks like Margot Robbie okay and now we have here Polka Dot Man 
so just a few um, complaints about this one or you know he have a spare brazer the blasting effect this one's pretty good the texture of the clothes are there there you go I like how they made this one um, accurate on the film itself now just my one minor complaint they should have made a spare goggles as compared to the bracer since that one is prone to be lost okay but overall no complaint on this figure excellent excellent uh, built and sculpt now next is blood sport this one I have some issues with um, Edris Elba's blood sport and this one came along with swords so why why swords instead of the gun that he uh, frequently use uh, during the film okay and as you can see this um, uh, figure is well built I just don't like the the hip part on the thighs that basically hinders it from uh, moving but as you can see the texture of the figure is good that is um, pretty much evident on the figure itself nicely done okay All right but some uh, minor complaints about this figure why uh, on the earth did they make this one orange rather than uh, black that could have uh, made this one an excellent excellent uh, figure but of course good thing you can have that one repainted to have it uh, more accurate so i guess that's a work uh for the collector All right now uh, we do have here john cena's peacemaker nicely done as well you can see the bucket the gun metal works uh, perfectly uh, for this one and the sculpt the build it's bulky and uh, tall as well the texture is there on the clothes again excellent job for uh, matt parlin it uh, came with a sword instead of a gun why again <laughs> all right but overall no uh, me um, complaint whatsoever there excellently painted okay now let's bring out the big boy all right so this is king shark as you can see this one is so big let's raise the hands um, <laughs> okay there you go okay and uh, what i do like about this one okay check out the mouth all right and the uh, set of feet is you know sharp you can twist the the head even the short have nice textures the leg is good and uh, there you go with the back excellent excellent well built figure right but just some uh, minor complaint on this one you can just easily detach the arms so i guess they could uh, work on this one and hopefully they you know improve on that uh, going forward all right so yeah there you go just some close-up um, shot on this one all right now to compare it with uh, toy bees uh, juggernaut there you go we can uh, actually com compare the size there but both are excellent uh, built or well-built sculpt now of course as we are aware the uh, juggernaut uh, toy bees uh, is um, focused or built for uh, six inch figures 
so evidently that uh, shows the height discrepancies of this figure now we have here dr strange you know just to show the the height difference and of course just to compare we do have here there you go blood sport so if you're uh, collecting from six to seven inch figures though those were the size comparison but overall both are excellent uh, figures that are built good uh, value for your money okay so let's uh, set that one aside now for uh, some uh, comparison this is margot robbie's um, figure now let's go ahead and uh, compare that with um, the uh, mafex harlequin by the way still phenomenal job on this figure there you go as you can see this is the uh, suicide squad the first movie of uh, margot robbie okay you can uh, compare the uh, paint of the figure this one is excellent and uh, well done well sculpted the color is accurate even the um, uh, bracelet so the spike bracelet is there the gun even the shirt and uh, even the choker now for size comparison let's go ahead and uh, stand them side by side so overall if you are uh, leaning towards the size of course the MacFarlane is bigger but the Mafex is a uh, well built and well painted the only downside is that's on the you know expensive uh, side okay but overall uh, we do have those now of course with the price came along with the add-ons we do have here the hands for the Mafex the baseball bat the mallet the uh, handgun the revolver and of course the alternate base for harlequin okay and of course it came along with the stand and of course um, just for reference here's the mafex box if in any case you know you, you want to see uh, the box how does it look like okay so let's just uh, bring them back all together so pretty much that's my review of the uh, mac parlin seven inch build a figure okay all right let's twist that one a bit so uh thank you for um watching the uh, channel i hope you do enjoy this one if you do like this kind of videos please consider subscribing hit a like uh, leave a comment on what do you want to see on the next one thanks for watching rod here of rod rad play peace out and keep gaming